Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are at first day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is max area of island. So the input given here is a M cross N binary matrix where these matrix represent the water and island and we have to return the longest or largest area of island in the given matrix. So here one represent land and zeros represent water and if uh, land is said to be island if it is covered by water in four direction. So let's understand this with an example. So here is our given matrix. If you see our islands are considered to be islands if they are uh, covered by water in all four direction. So in that case if you consider this it is gonna be of size 1, 2, 3, 4 and the next this island is gonna be of size 5 and this island is of size 6 and this is of 5 and again this is of 5. So 6 is going to be the largest value and that is going to be our output. But you can ask me these two points are actually connected. So whether if we can consider this whole island as 1 and return 11. But they said the islands should be connected either in vertical or horizontal direction. But these two are connected in a diagonal way that is not be considered. So if it is connected here, then it would be considered because if it has a connection vertically or horizontally, but diagonal connections are not considered as an island. So how are we going to approach this? As usual, if it is a traversal technique in a two dimensional matrix, you can either use a DFS or BFS, either it is iterative or recursive. So here in this video, we are going to use an iterative BFS technique to traverse and come up with a solution. So if you have been practicing our BFS videos, then you must be familiar with how we do BFS in a two dimensional matrix. If not, it is okay. We are going to see a very quick dry run before getting into our coding part. So hope that helps. So always BFS need a help of Q. So here we have a Q. So I'm going to do one iteration or one set to perform or find the length or area of a island. That is going to be repeated for all islands present in the binary matrix and finally going to be returning the highest or the maximum area. So let's start. Let us consider this example. First our main method is going to iterate our given binary matrix starting from the index 0, 0 and whenever it encounters a 1 then it is going to apply BFS and calculate the area. So now starting from 0, 0 the, it is a 0 then it is moving to 0, 1. 0, 1 is having a 1 which means it can possibly form an island. So in that case we are going to call our BFS. What does our BFS do is it is going to pass the coordinates of this cell. So this cell's coordinate is going to be 0, 1. So once we pass 0, 1 it is going to traverse both vertically and horizontally and add its cell to the queue. So in this case our queue is going to first have 0, 1 and explore its neighbors. So its neighbors are going to be 0, 2 that is horizontally and 1, 1 that is vertically. So once this is done we are going to pop 0, 1 because we have explored its children or neighbors then comes 0, 2. So from 0, 2 we are going to explore its neighbors. 0, 2 is another one so we are going to count plus 1 to our result. So our result is going to keep count of the number of ones it encounters in this particular BFS. So our result is so far 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 0, 1 is a 1 and 0, 2 is also a 1. So now let's explore the neighbors of 0, 2. So now from 0, 2 if you travel horizontally you don't have to really travel before cells because as we have already visited them. So the next cell is 0, 3. So if you see 0, 3 it is not 1. So in that case it is a water it cannot form an island so simply we are not going to add it. Also if you travel vertically again it is going to be 0 so we are ignoring its children. The next coordinate in our queue is going to be 1, 1 so let's pop 1, 1 and add 1 to our result. So we are adding 1 because 1, 1 is also having a land. So now from 1, 1 we are going to explore horizontally. If you explore horizontally its neighbor is going to be 1, 2 but 1, 2 is a 0. So 
so it cannot be included in the island so let's travel vertically vertically its coordinate is 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 is also 1 so we are adding that to our queue so now 2 comma 1 is having a land so let's add that to our result so now our result is added with one more one as we have one more land in our island so we have only 2 comma 1 left in our queue let's explore its children or its neighbors so 2 comma 1's neighbor are going to be 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 1 but both are actually zeros which are waters so no more island has been there connected so in that case we don't really have to add anything to our queue this 2 comma 1 also will be popped out now our queue is empty for this particular island and overall it has formed the area of 4 so we are going to return it back to our main method and in our main method we are going to have a max variable which is going to keep hold of maximum area so far so, so far it is 4 so again it is going to start iterating the next values so now we have started iterating our bfs with 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 and its connected islands are now covered so it is really not going to be helping us if we start again from 0 comma 2 so what we actually does is every time we encounter a one which is connected and we add it to our result then we are going to change it to zero why which actually means this node or this island has been already visited we don't really have to visit it again because if we visit zero comma two again it is again going to give us four because that only has been connected with that so once we apply all zeros to these covered cells then it again iterate every each and every cell and move to the next island so as it iterates to 0 comma 2 it is it will be 0 as it iterates to 0 comma 3 it is going to be 0 and it comes to 0 comma 4 where and again a 1 starts it is going to follow the same procedure that is going to call a bfs function again for the coordinate 0 comma 4 our bfs again going to explore its neighbors and add it to the queue and find the area and return it to the main method and our main method is going to keep track of the maximum area by using the variable max and for this island it is going to be 5 so which is max 4 or 5 5 is max so it is going to take away 4 and update its value with 5 and finally it is going to return 5 as the result for this particular binary matrix so hope you're understanding this solution so let's go to the code now so here is our code let me first explain the bfs method this is again the same code we have always been used whenever we implemented bfs so you most of you must be familiar with this code by now here we are passing the parameter as the grid and k and l k and l are nothing but the coordinate of wherever we encountered our first one so we are having a queue so in our queue we are first adding its coordinates and we have a result variable which is what we are going to return at the end we are iterating till the queue is empty and we are taking a coordinate and here we are using this neighbors integer array just to calculate all four direction that is up and down and left and right so by adding our current coordinates with these four coordinates we get our new x comma y or i comma j which is nothing but the neighboring cell so once we calculated the coordinates of neighboring cell we are checking whether it is a one and also whether it did not cross the limits that is it cannot be less than zero or it cannot be greater than the number of rows or columns actually given also if the value is one then in that case we are going to update its value to zero because i have said once we visited the cells we will be updating it to zero and add its neighbor that is if at all it is one then we add it to our queue so once the loop goes all its neighbors who are having one will be added and our result will be incremented and finally we are going to return the result so this result is actually nothing but here we are iterating using two for loops where these two for loops iterate each and every cell of the given input grid and whenever there is a one then it is going to update that one to zero and call our bfs method with its coordinates so here once we return the value of a result that is going to be stored in our variable current so current is having the area of that particular island 
and our result variable is going to hold the maximum value so far so it is nothing but the max of result comma current so every time it updates finally it will be having the maximum area and that is what the output we are going to return so yes this is it let's run and try yes so let's submit yes our solution is accepted this is a usual bfs technique we have been using in our videos so hope you are understanding the solution so thanks for watching the video if you like the video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you